Thanks for clicking on this video. Today, we're going to talk about how to create a signature using online email, also known as Outlook Web Access or Outlook Online, or, or you might call it something else. And this applies whether you're using Office 365, Microsoft 365, or Outlook.com also known as live.com and hotmail.com. So it's the same web interface that you would see across all these systems. So stay tuned to part two of this video and we will do a step-by-step -step process of how to create a signature using the online email. This video, uh, we're gonna look at setting up a signature in Outlook online. So this is the same whether you're using Office 365, also known as Microsoft 365, um, or one of the personal email accounts like live.com, hotmail.com, or outlook.com, or whatever, um, .co.uk, etc, etc. So when you're logged into your email, here you've got an area called settings, where you've got all Outlook settings. Now there's two ways to do this process with setting up signatures. One you can go in the settings area and start writing out your signature um, which with the online version is quite easy to do. With the personal Outlook we normally recommend, because the box is so not so big, to do it in a brand new email. So we normally say, click a new email, write it as you do, you know, font sizes, links, etc., etc., and then, and even a logo at the bottom, and then you can look to create the pitch, um, the signature logo. So I'm just going to bring a snipping tool. I'm just going to take the bar at the top and just and include that as a file in a minute. So what we do, all Outlook settings. And from here, this is one of those things that you probably do once a year, I'll be honest with you. Um, so apologies if I make mistakes, but uh, you'll find out in a minute if I do. So here is in email compose and reply. Now what you before you edit the signature with this usually I would say tick these both boxes automatically include my signature on new messages and replies and forwards um, and then this section here just talks about fonts and everything so what we're going to do is write thanks and I'll put my name down uh, and then for more info check out check out uh, my website and here we could change the font size using the bars here uh, and we can put a link um, but a lot of these things are easier to do in a brand new email because you may not understand what some of these buttons are. Um, likewise, you might find that some of the settings are missing in a signature area, but it allows you to copy and paste the text. So, so I'm just going to put HTTP Outlook.Live.com So there's my website and I'm going to put a logo. 
Um, and if I want to be clever, I can put a link on a logo as well. Outlook.live.com. Nice promotion for Microsoft. Um, so didn't work as well as I expected. So that was interesting. So this is where I say sometimes it's not um, best to do it in a signature block. Sometimes better to do it in a new email. Make everything formatted nicely, and then do what's copy and paste. So Control C or right click copy and then right click paste. Um, but as I mentioned here, um, if you want to decrease the font, etc. Um, I'm I'm one of those people that I don't really like to decrease font much. Uh, for me, you know, even with um, in the business world, you have a disclaimer at the end, and some of these disclaimers they become so silly that they might be like size eight or size size six or something. It's really off-putting. I'll be honest with you. Um, you know. Some people don't like to have underlines with with text. So there's an underline. So if I click that, it's still got an underline. Um, so this is where I say sometimes doing it from here may not be ideal. Sometimes it works in one browser better than another, but I'm not going to use that excuse. All I would say is do it be do it in an email and customize it and copy and paste after um, but that aside um, you've got colors as well uh, that is a new email so if I save that that would now appear on new emails so I can go new message and there you go now if I want to get rid of that because this is a test, then under settings, that cog, so it was this cog here, Outlook settings, compose and reply, and then you can edit it again. Uh, yeah, I will leave my name at the end, so because it's one of my email accounts, uh, but save, and job done. So discard that. New email, and you can see thanks, Baldi. So I don't have to keep typing my name in. So very useful feature. Uh, so that is how you can add an email to online email, whether it's webmail, um, known as webmail, Outlook Web Access, Outlook Online, um, for both personal Outlook email addresses and Microsoft business email addresses in Office 365. If you have any questions, drop them below. Um, if you've got any tips regarding signatures, also drop them below because it will be good to help the community um, with some of your tips. Um, and I will highlight the best comment below as well. Um, and if there's a video that you want adding as a future recommendation, drop a comment and we'll look to get that um, made in future. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Thanks for watching this video. If you found that useful, please click the like button below. If you found it unhelpful, click the dislike button below so we can get some feedback. And if you've got any future videos that you would like creating, please drop us a comment below. Thanks for watching and have a great day.